Now, in exactly a similar way, I'm going to discuss the solubility of sulfates down the group. So, uh, but there's only one difference, one very slight difference. Uh, the rest of the uh, uh, concept is pretty much the same. Uh, the first difference is that the solubility of sulfates decreases down group two. Remember, when we were talking about hydroxides, the solubility of hydroxides was actually increasing down group two. So, since it's decreasing, that means that the enthalpy of solution becomes more endothermic. It becomes actually more and more difficult to actually dissolve a sulfate in group 2 as you move down the group. More energy is required. So I've uh, drawn uh, two Hess cycles. And remember, uh, it's exactly the same, the two steps involved. The first thing is uh, I've drawn two Hess uh, cycles, one for magnesium sulfate and the other one for barium sulfate. Now for magnesium sulfate, again, it's the same idea. The first thing that you're going to do if you're going to try and dissolve MgSO4 and convert it into MgSO4 aqua science is that you're going to break the ionic lattice. So energy would be needed, it's an endothermic process and gaseous ions would be broken, you're going to break the ionic lattice and the second step would be that new bonds between water molecules would be formed and that would be called the enthalpy of hydration. The same goes for barium sulfate. You're going to break the barium sulfate ionic lattice first and then new bonds with water molecules are formed which is enthalpy of hydration. So it's exactly the same. The other concept is also exactly the same, which is that Mg2 plus is a smaller cation, so it's going to form stronger bonds. It would have a stronger ionic lattice. So the lattice enthalpy, or minus lattice enthalpy, since we are breaking the lattice, is going to be very large because it would require a lot of energy to break a very strong ionic lattice. And the second part is that because it's a smaller cation, it's going to form stronger bonds with water molecules, which is why enthalpy of hydration is going to be more exothermic. Barium 2 plus on the other hand is a larger cation so it, its uh, ionic lattice would be a weaker ionic lattice and the lattice enthalpy value would be smaller. It would be a lot easier to actually break the barium sulfate ionic lattice. And the other thing is that the enthalpy of hydration is also going to be less exothermic because, because a larger cation is not going to make very strong bonds with water molecules. So that uh, the two uh, Hess cycles are pretty much identical for hydroxides. The only difference is that now the case is opposite. Barium sulfate is the one that is insoluble, which means that the enthalpy of solution is actually more endothermic, requires a lot of energy. MgSO4, on the other hand, uh, is very soluble. So that means the enthalpy of solution is probably exothermic. It doesn't need energy to actually dissolve. It's very easy to dissolve MgSO4. So uh, enthalpy of solution is becoming more endothermic as you move down the group. So I'm going to... Uh, uh, write the relationship of the Hess cycle. So Hess cycle in all two parts, enthalpy of solution is basically equal to, you break the lattice first and then you form bonds with water molecules, which is enthalpy of hydration. So the first thing is, uh, breaking the ionic lattice, that's an endothermic process. So this entire term minus lattice enthalpy actually has a positive value and it is endothermic. Enthalpy of hydration on the other hand, you're forming bonds with water molecules, it's an exothermic process. So enthalpy of solution is based on two terms, one is endothermic and the other one is exothermic. Now down the group, since the cation size is increasing, as we have discussed, uh, lattice enthalpy would become less endothermic and enthalpy of hydration is going to become less exothermic because weaker bonds are broken, weaker bonds are formed. Bigger cations don't form very strong bonds. So uh, both lattice enthalpy and enthalpy of hydration decrease. But now since for sulfates, and I'm specifically talking about sulfates, the enthalpy of solution is actually becoming more and more endothermic. So it's going to become more and more endothermic, which basically means that it's actually becoming more difficult to actually dissolve. Dissolving, the process of dissolving is now requiring energy, so it's becoming more and more endothermic, which would basically indicate that the endothermic term actually has a comparatively larger value and this exothermic term has comparatively a smaller value which is why when you add them you get an endothermic answer the enthalpy of solution overall becomes more endothermic so this endothermic term is larger so minus lattice enthalpy which is endothermic has a larger value and enthalpy of hydration has a relatively smaller value down the group both are decreasing so both are decreasing but lattice enthalpy decreases less compared to enthalpy of hydration which basically means that breaking the lattice when you move down the group is actually becoming more and more difficult which is why it's not dissolving 
So I'm going to write this entire concept in uh, and discuss how you're going to write and uh, write this in in your exams. So let's cut out the hydroxide, replace that with a sulfate. So group two sulfates and the solubility does not increase, actually decreases. So let's write decreases in its place. So the, the question is exactly the same, except uh, that the solubility is actually decreasing. So the first parts are pretty much the same. The reason why they're decreasing because cation size increasing, increases and charge density decreases. So both lattice enthalpy and enthalpy of hydration decrease, which is why, uh, which is because larger cations don't form very strong bonds, and breaking the bonds is also very very easy. So both lattice enthalpy and enthalpy of hydrations are, are decreasing. Now the second part, since enthalpy of solution becomes more and more endothermic, lattice enthalpy decreases less which basically means that to break the lattice you still need a lot of energy so which is why it's not dissolving so lattice enthalpy decreases less compared to enthalpy of hydration hence enthalpy of solution becomes more and more endothermic down the group and the solubility decreases